Hello students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss effectiveness studies. Is there a difference? In quantitative research, is specifically in an experiment, effectiveness is not a subjective direct unit of measure of any variable. It is manifested by the computed difference between two groups by variate inequality for the two groups or more multivariate inequality for more than two groups to elucidate let us have an example mr experiment was interested to find out if eating a piece of chocolate prior to an examination is effective in enhancing the performance of students in statistics. He formed two groups of students from a population of 150 into an experimental group with a randomly selected sample of 12 and a control group of 12 similarly probability sampled. Using a post-test only con control group design, he administered an examination to the two groups after the experimental team members have eaten their pieces. The results are shown below. So the results have been tabulated in an Excel sheet showing the performance in points of the control group, the students who did not eat chocolate, and the performance in points of the experimental group, the students who ate chocolate. Mr. Perryman has to find out if indeed eating chocolate improves the performance of the students. Is specifically, he has to determine the mean scores of the experimental and control groups and must test if there is a significant difference between these means or if the difference in the sample means is likely to occur in the population means. She won't ask the students to select and check from a Likert scale of zero to five or from not effective to very effective. To find out if eating choco is effective, we need to see if those who ate choco performed better than those who did not. So we need to compute for the mean performance of each of the groups and see if those who ate choco have a higher average or if there is a difference in the mean performances. We have now here the Excel sheet where we are going to get the means and the difference. So in this uh, sheet, type mean equals in A15, type difference equals in A16. Click B15 for the output of B. Click formulas, more functions, statistical average. Click OK. The mean of B, the control group, 87.833 appears in B15. To continue, click C15, formulas, more functions, statistical average. Click OK. The mean of C, the experimental group 92.166, appears in C15. To get the difference, click B16, type equals C15 minus B15. Click out of the cell there is a difference of 4.333.
The difference of 4.333 indicates improvement in the performance of the students who ate choco. It also shows that eating choco prior to taking the exam is effective in enhancing the scores of the students, the sample students, I mean. But to find out if the results from the sample would more likely be observed in the population, the difference must be tested for significance. The experiment is a post-test only control group design. It has no pre-test. The comparison is just between two independent samples, the experimental group and the control group. For this, we can use the t-test of difference between two independent samples. Our research question shall be, is there a significant difference between the mean of the experimental group and the mean of the control group? Or is the difference observed between the samples more likely to be observed in the population represented? Or is the population mean of the experimental group not equal to the population mean of the control group? Or is the population difference not equal to zero? The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the mean of the experimental group and the mean of the control group. Or the difference observed between the samples would more likely not be observed in the populations represented. Or the population mean of the experimental group is equal to the population mean of the control group, or the population difference is equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis is there is significant difference between the mean of the experimental group and the mean of the control group, or the difference observed between the samples would more likely be observed in the populations represented, or the population difference is not equal to zero, or the population means are not equal. If the Excel output P is greater than 0 0.05, accept the null hypothesis and reject the alternative hypothesis. If the Excel output P is less than or equal to 0 0.05, reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. To continue in our cell, type P in E3. Then type P equals in E3, click F3 for the P output. Click formulas, more functions, statistical t-test. Type in array one, B3 column B14. In array two, type C3 column C14. In tails, type two, in type, type two. Click OK. The P value in F3 is 0 0.010986. Our decision will be since P, which is 0 0.01986, is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. There is significant difference between the experimental group score and the control group score, or the observed difference in the average of 12 sample experimental group scores and the 10 sample control group scores of 4.333 
will most likely be observed in the population or population means are not equal or population difference is not equal to zero. The students and fellow researchers, that is our lesson on effectiveness studies. Is there a difference? Is the difference significant? Thank you for watching and listening.